the Minimax FS41 ES, SCM's professional grade joiner planer combination machine. In this video, we'll be concentrating on the uh, installation of this beast, more so than testing, but we, we will do our fair share of testing too. Once you get the machine off the shipping pallet, the first thing you would do would be to install the mobility kit. This consists of two retractable composite wheels, which are then used in conjunction with the separate tow bar also included in the kit. To install the wheels, you position them up in the foot recess you see here and tighten the lock nut so there is just enough play that the bolt can slide in the different channels, but not enough play that the connection feels sloppy. To use the kit, you use the tow bar to jack up the end with the retractable wheels. Now you slide those wheels into the slot that engages them. Take the tow bar from that side now and bring it to the other side and connect it to that jack point. Now have a three point system and the machine can be towed, pushed, straight or in a circle, backed into a corner, whatever. There's lots of flexibility with this system. And once positioned, you simply reverse your steps and uh, get the machine back on the base again. Now that you've unpacked things, cleaned off the Cosmoline and organized your parts, you're ready to start installing things. We're going to start with the fence system. And you're going to want to install that cutter guard first. Uh, I find it easier to have the fence on its face standing up there so that you can attach those screws uh, really easily. Now, lower the whole assembly onto the table and into place. Align your mounting holes uh, and get ready to bolt it down. There are no critical alignment issues to worry about here. Just eyeball the fence to be in line with the table's edges and uh, tighten things up. Here you can see me operating the lock bar for the uh, tilting system. The fence tilts uh, to 45 degrees and then back to 90. Here you can see me installing the uh, spring-loaded cutter guard. There is uh, your scale for depth of cut. All right, let's do some test cutting. It all starts with face planing. problems you might experience with narrower boards is it gets kind of tight in there you see your hand can kind of rub against the taller fence so we include this uh, drop down fence feature which makes working working with narrower boards a, a heck of a lot easier
change over time. You can see here we're going to go from joiner to planer. And the Minimax has the quickest changeovers in the industry. You see here we got one lock point. Releases the table. Spring assisted. Easy up and down. And the planer table does not need to be all the way down when you're using the joiner. And here you can see our floating dust port so the hose can stay connected, never needs to be moved from one side to the other. Moving this massive four post planer table is easy and accurate with the electronic power control. Now let's have some fun. Tursa knives impart such a nice finish. I mean, it's really incredible. And this machine is also available with our spiral system, the Xylent head as well. You know, changing knives with this system is so incredibly easy. Here you see a knife, uh, they're two-sided and disposable and uh, they can only go in one way so you can't install them incorrectly. And once you slide them into place, there is uh, nothing else you need to do. No setting. They are automatically set as soon as the, you slide them in. This mag lock here frees up the head so that you can safely turn it and position the slots for the knives. Uh, this little tool that comes with your package uh, is basically for tapping down those locking gibs. It's pretty simple. They require very little force. And then you line up the slot with the hole in the, in the mounting block and slide the knife in. Then when you turn the machine on, a centrifugal force resets those gibs. Now here I just show you an example. You don't need to use the uh, official uh, gib loosener. You can use any really scrap block of wood that's in the shop. And Tursa makes many different types of knives for the many different types of woods out there. This really frees you up and gives you the versatility to get the most out of the system. The Mortiser. Let's install it. The basic hardware, the leveling plate, and the bolts that hold the uh, Mortiser to the frame. I find it uh, easier to install the chuck first before uh, we get to hanging the mortiser so you're not banging your knees on the mortiser while you're installing uh, the chuck. Uh, take the uh, cover plate off to expose everything. It has uh, two set screws on that, uh, that bolt that you're going to replace with the chuck. So loosen those up. And uh, to uh, back that bolt out, things always loosen in the direction of the knives in terms of rotation. So uh, I use that brass gib to, to lock the head and then just loosen that bolt and take it on out. Once you've screwed uh, the chuck in, go ahead and re-tighten those set screws. Now we can mount the mortiser. Uh, please note here that it does not hang on those bolts. 
it rather sits on the leveling uh, plate and then the bolts are you can see it's a slotted opening uh, to get the, the bolt head over and then the bolts themselves just hold it tight to the frame The post for mounting the clamp is conveniently stored under the table. Here you can see I'm going to mount the uh, pivoting lever assembly. Uh, you want to make sure that that uh, rod goes between those two cast points. And then you screw the uh, plates to the table. And now's a good time to mount the removable uh, handles, which just slip over the rods. The hand wheel mounts with a pointed set screw that digs into the shaft a little bit to hold it in place. Here are your plumb adjustments for orienting the table so that it is a level or parallel with the cutter. There are four points, two at the bottom, two at the top, to get your orientation just right. Now we will mount the tool and take it for a spin. Here you can see me setting the height and the depth of the table for the first test cut. After I clamp my piece to the table, I then set my side-to-side -side stops. Hook up the dust collection and we're ready to rock and roll. A beautiful mortise and a successful installation. The Minimax FS41ES. Get yours today. <laughs>